Welcome to a special edition of Two on One. I'm your host, Michael Vetrano. Our next guest is the, the pride of Baldwin, the pride of Westchester University, the pride of Long Beach, the current head coach of National Perennial Power, Wanta. How are you, coach? Good, good. Hi, Mike. Coach, it's great to great to talk to you. You know, I've, I've, I've known you for a long time. Obviously, I've been around you in wrestling since I was a little kid. I've unfortunately uh, coached against you. We didn't come up on the winning side very often. <laughs> I've admired you from afar. You know, you're, you're a living legend. And um, we... Well, thank you. You make our show the show better just by coming on, so we appreciate it, Coach. You know the first thing I ask a lot of uh, guests is, how did you get in? You know, obviously, look, your your resume is, is this long. We have Matt Diano, who's the best in the business, you know, uh, giving us all kinds of stats about all your different accolades. But how did you get involved in wrestling, Coach? Coaching or wrestling itself? Well, it, wrestling in general. You well, know? what uh, I am an immigrant. I was born in uh, Donegal, Ireland, back in 1952, and. Uh, I went to Baldwin. That's where we first came to from there. And I got involved with a, a, a group of men that uh, really led the way for me because my father and mother were basically working people. That's all like, like the Italians and the Germans and the Irish. They came here to just work and try to survive. And these guys took me aside, and really helped mold my personality. And uh, uh, just I, I owe them so much, you know, so uh, uh that's that's where it all started, you know, I, with, with coaches. How, how how old were you? I I I, I knew that you you came from from Ireland, right? How, yes. how old were you when you started when you started wrestling? What grade? I was in the seventh grade when I started, and uh, I was very fortunate because I had this man called Dick Slutsky. Okay, Dick Slutsky was a, a NCAA runner up, and he's uh, he actually went to Plain Edge High School and was a county champion there, and. Uh, uh, Having him for my first coach was just unbelievable because here's a man that, that has already was a two-time All-American at Syracuse University. And uh, uh, he showed me the, the way and the started me on my path to, uh, to wrestling. Now, so, I, you know, I, I'm a little bit of a, a wrestling junkie like you are, right? So what you, was it, <clears throat> what was the style? Obviously, it was collegiate style, right? I, I know that yes. you also wrestled, I believe, freestyle too. Uh, when did you start focusing on, did you get, I mean, and you're obviously a, a very, um, you know, well-regarded freestyle coach, right, in the off season. But when did you kind of get introduced? To, I'm just trying to understand the history of wrestling a little bit on Long Island. When did you get in, in, introduced into freestyle wrestling? Versus collegiate wrestling. All right. You know, I was fortunate that year that uh, I was in the eighth grade when uh, Mr. Slutsky uh, uh, coached me. He uh, he was actually trying out for the 1964 Olympics then. So I used to go to like the senior Mets and watch him wrestle guys like Duffy from CW Post, uh, a few other guys that were there. But seeing that style really helped me uh learn about about freestyle and greco i didn't see too much greco back then but you know louis gianni i was gonna say louis that's 60 or 64 right it was gianni yeah, uh, yeah, i forgot what it was 60, yeah. i think louis. Oh, 60 okay 60. but he was another guy that i first met when i was in the uh i was a, a junior in high school we used to go out to uh, cold spring harbor they have a little loft up there and we used to practice there with louis and uh you know back then i was a a junior in high school. So I didn't really know who, who he was. And then a guy came up and he said, you know who this guy is? And I said, no, he said, watch him. And that's what I did. And I learned a lot from him because he was a great freestyler, Louis, as we know. Yeah. I and mean, he was an, he was an Olympian, uh, obviously uh, great one man, of, great one of the best, great man, one of the best coaches of all time, you know, yes. in, in New York no state, doubt. um, you know, rest God rest his soul. We lost him uh, recently. Yes. Yes. So you so you went on to you wrestled you you wrestled you were obviously at Baldwin right and then you went right. to Westchester University which is that in Pennsylvania coach Pennsylvania I was very fortunate to wrestle in Pennsylvania as we know Pennsylvania is in my estimation the best state in the union here we have and uh, we have fifty states that and they are by far God I learned so much from those coaches over there you know I became good friends with Wade Chalice Shorty Hitchcock. I saw Wade Shallis pin. He Shorty pins everybody. Hitchcock. He pins everybody, right? Wade, Wade and, and then, but listen to this. Two yeah. weeks later, Shorty was the outstanding wrestler of the NCAA tournament in, I in uh, Iowa State University. There. Wow! Wow! So at West Westchester, right? So what? What was the biggest? You 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 know you. 
uh, you're, you know, one of the things that amazes me, you're still, you know, a student of the game still, right? So, you, you know, and that, that's, yeah. I think that's one 40, of the, 44 NCAA tournaments I've been to. That's amazing. That's amazing. It's probably one of the top. I know there's um, a bunch of folks on Long Island. You're probably at the top in terms of going to the most. What would you say was the biggest difference? Obviously, the competition level at, at in college was different than at the high school level. But in terms of the style of wrestling back then in Pennsylvania, versus, you know, wrestling in Long Island, in Nassau County. Was there, would you, did you notice a stark difference, or was it just the level of competition? Uh, I think back in the day, uh, Nassau County and even Suffolk were, were almost par with the uh, Pennsylvania, you know. But Pennsylvania had those people there, boy. They they live and breathe it, not like we do here. They, they didn't uh, cancel. Uh, you know, I have a very good friend that went to school with me, Stevie Powell from Easton High School. Yep. Yep. Of Easton. Yeah, of course. The Red Raider. Uh, Red, uh, Red Raiders. Uh, give you a little, yeah. we, we, uh, I took in uh, about 1997, I took uh, the Long Beach guys down there when I was coaching at Long Beach. And we wrestled against uh, Nazareth, Easton, Northampton, and Bethlehem Catholic. That's some and, crew. Yes. Yeah, wow. They were, yeah. listen to this, they were, uh, that was in the same league, they were all in, and they were all in the top 10 in the nation. It's amazing. So, needless to say, we didn't have too many wins that day. <laughs> <laughs> now, I remember, I mean, that team, you had a very solid team, and, and that, you know, for Los Long Island standards. How did you guys, I mean, uh, how did you guys I, I do? I mean, you know, do, do you remember, um, you know, did you have any champions? Did you, I mean, or was it, did you guys just totally take your licks? Do you remember? I'm just curious. Now, this was in Pennsylvania? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we, we, we got kind of beat up. That We had a couple of individuals win, no, con you know, constantly. It was good. It was uh, a good experience for the boys to see the top level in, in high school wrestling in the country. And at that time, and I think it still is the best, you know, like I said before, the best uh, state in the union that, that has wrestling. I think uh, Eastern, so Eastern Pennsylvania as borders, I believe, Phillipsburg, New Jersey. I think the Phillipsburg, New Jersey dual meet, and Matty Diano could check me on this first, Eastern PA is one of the most well-attended public school matches in the country. It's one of the longest rivalry. I've always wanted to turn on my wrestling bucket list, you know, to Rick, do that. Rick Thompson, who was at Phillipsburg, yeah. and Phoebe Powell, uh, they weren't too good of friends. <laughs> <laughs> they were big-time rivals, right? Yeah. Oh, God. And they would pack the gym. They yeah. had, you had to get your tickets in advance. You know who used to go there quite a bit was Neil Duncan. Yep, yep, yep. You know Neil from A6. Of course. And, yes. and Nick, yeah, Nick didn't go too much, but uh, Neil did. And, uh, he had to get his tickets like a month in advance to get in the place. Wow. Did you ever go? Did you ever watch? No, I have. I, I was coaching, you know, busy coaching. So right. I never really. I always want, I, I'm going to go to one of those matches. I think any match, depending, you know, obviously teams are up and down, but they always put it on the line, you know, those, those two. And like you said, there's no love lost, I think, between those, between those teams. So coach, so walk us, so then now you're, 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 um, talk, tell me about Long Beach, right? So when you, Long Beach, obviously any wrestling fan knows, right? You, you know, obviously coach Adams, I believe has carried on your torch. I'm sure. You'd yeah. Be he's great. Staff. Doing a great job. Love, love great coach. Job. We had him on a few days ago. We love him and, um, we love you too. Tell me about, uh, Long, Long Beach. You know, it's, it's a unique place, right? It's a, it's actually a city. Right. So it's obviously surrounded by the water, but it's 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 a it's a very unique place. And I think it's conducive to wrestling. What what do you what do you think? What was some of the attributes when you think back of how and obviously I know, you know, hard work and you're in freestyle in the offseason, 12 months of the year. What makes Long Beach such a special place? I know you're at Wanto and we're getting into Wanto, but yeah. I have to talk about Long yeah, Beach. Uh, Long Beach is, is a tremendous melting pot of people and they have their areas. There's different areas where there's the. Uh, you know, they have a, a Jewish area. They have the North Park area, you know, and uh, uh, they have other areas. They have the beach area. But uh, uh, kids are kids. And when we, uh, when I took that over, oh, wait, back in 78 with uh, Mr. Mr. Reggie Jones Jr., uh, it, it was quite an experience because <laughs> we used to have to go chasing the kids down in the community to get them to go to practice. But... Uh, also helped that we we were young then and we were able to wrestle them ourselves and show them the way and uh uh the discipline was the hardest thing because mostly what you had back then and even now you had you had kids having kids right you know and uh uh the, a lot of the parents weren't around so we became surrogate fathers and uh uh I had, my wife was tremendous. We had a lot of them living with us. And, uh, uh, wow. 
You know, I could tell you some uh, a, a kid, Akil Cole, he's now the, uh, he's a game operations president of the uh, NFL. Scotty Graham, if you remember him. Yep. Scotty Graham is the, uh, he's a, a running back coach for the University of Arizona. So he was the athletic director at Arizona for a while, but uh, I think he left that went back to coaching. But uh, uh, those kids and kids like them through the years really made our program and it got better because the discipline and a desire to come out and, and really, it, it made them uh, uh, popular in the community too, which, you know. Yeah, so Co Coach, you started in, at Long Beach in 78, right? So um, thanks to Matty D. I mean, it's making me making it look easy. So yeah, obviously Coach Palacio, right? He was a three-time New York he State He was champion. the very first right. boy I coached. So four years after you, oh, he's a very, so that was the first class. So 78 yes. to 82, right? So he, he, ended up he won that, he, as a, he, a ninth grader, he won the counties. He was wow. third in the state. And then he went on to win three state titles. And and he was a kid that was motivated. Of course, he was runner up in the NCAA championships. And he was uh, fifth, I think, at the NCAA uh, and championships. And North Carolina? Uh, was yeah, University Carolina? of North Carolina, yeah. yeah. Bill yep. Lamb. Was right, the head right. coach back so that must have helped. I mean, I think he was a soccer player too, right? Or maybe that, that was his that, brother Leo. Oh, yeah, uh, Leo is okay, Leo. So that must have helped, right? So now you're coaching. You're a young coach. You you know, out of you know, out of you coming out of college, and now you have a star right away. That really must have helped propel your program, right? It did. A lot of the kids that that uh, uh, he would pal around with became athletes instead of partiers in the, in the community. Because Long Beach does have, did have a bad rep for a, a lot of partying going on. I get but, it. I uh, get it. Well, it's easy. I mean, it's a beautiful place. I mean, you know, I mean, yes. it's, it's easy to be distracted, right? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I, I, opened the, I opened the club there, a wrestling club. And, uh, uh, God, I had kids coming from all. Dean Morrison used to come yep. down. Copeg, right? Yep. Uh, Tommy yep. Ryan. Yep. Uh, uh, Wont uh, Wont 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 yep. High School. Yep. Yeah, yep. he was. So we had, a, we had a good club there. So all those kids used to come. Of course, it was free back then, <laughs> you know? So we had, every night, I'd have like 20 to 30 kids in the room off-season. And as we know, the off-season wrestling is what makes you champion. Yes. And, uh, uh, you know, Michael Torriero can tell you that. I remember uh, him for, going to all sure. the tournaments. He was Stud. Great. Stud. So I want to I want to get into one, too. I want I, I to talk about PJ, right? So PJ... Graduated high school in around what oh four oh five right in that in that range right so yeah. what was that like so you were obviously you were an accomplished athlete you 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 had um, super success was there anything harder than coaching your son I remember watching you in the corner you know it was tough you know it was the hardest thing probably I did you know coaching uh, all the other kids was fun yeah he was uh was more stressful because I think he had a lot of pressure on him because of me I get it yeah you know and yeah. uh. uh he, he took it and he ran with it. And uh, you know what? He was uh, third in the state three times. I said to, to my wife, I said, he's never going to do it. Never gonna do it. <laughs> I did, and I never get like that. I'm not negative, you know? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. And the next year, his senior year, he finally won the state title, you know? So it was great. Yeah. So, great to see. yeah. I mean, and then he, he obviously was, I believe he's an All American at, at, yes. at, at Hofstra, too, right? I mean, yes. I don't, I don't want to skip all that. I mean, he, he look, he, uh, Tremendous for Long Island. I mean, you know, he was—he's a role model, and he—and he still is. Yeah. So now I want to—I want to go go on to Wanto. So now you're at Wanto, right? So what's? I mean, look, you know, I, I think we on the losing end a couple times at UWE duels. It's giving me nightmares, you know, thinking about you at, when I was at Sable. But tell me about the biggest difference of coaching at Wanto, which has become a machine, by the way. I mean, it, it, at okay. Long Beach, what's the biggest difference? I know kids are kids, but what's the biggest difference? What, you know what it is? It is the community uh, itself because in the in the community of Wanto, you have a lot of firemen, police officers, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, civil service workers. And in Long Beach, you get a variety of people. You know, you get the, uh, the, the, the there's money down there and then there's poverty. So you're getting a, a, both of them. And uh, uh, it, it really, uh, I love the, the Long Beach challenge of trying to make a kid that was in trouble all his life. All of a sudden, uh, you know, he, he comes on and becomes a great athlete. You know, we, we they used to say to me, uh, you know, how do you know if you're going to have a good team the next year? I said, well, I got to see if everybody's out of jail. And then we'll, <laughs> and then we'll, uh, we'll tell you how good our team is going to be. 
Well, coach, I mean, I, I can't think of a team. I mean, I've been around a lot that you guys weren't good at either Long Beach or Wanto. Look, you know, the thing that, that it, it is to me that people don't talk about a lot is you guys have kind of helped. Look, obviously Suffolk and Nassau, we've been on the map. We've had a ton of guys, but you guys have been now. How many times at Wanto have you been nationally ranked? I mean, you probably don't. You're going to say rankings don't matter, but uh, you know, they, they've been they, multiple you know, times I, you've been ranked. I, you, know, two, you know, three times, maybe four times. And, and 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 the reality is, I think there's times that we maybe could have been higher, right? Because we just don't know, right? I mean, you guys travel uh, a lot more. I mean, you know, John, John, I, obviously Patch and I have traveled, and John Glenn has traveled, and, and obviously some other teams have traveled, and certainly individuals. But as a team, I think you guys are one of the um, – uh, teams that travel the most. At, when I say travel, not just the UE duels, we don't have any more, the Eastern States, but out of New York State. Tell me what that's like. When did you kind of, do you think that's been important for you to kind of, you know, c continue that perennial success or how, how did that work out? You have to search the best. You know, you have to go out and find where the best teams are. Uh, you know, we thought we got invited to Minnesota last, uh, the year 2018, I think it was. That was the year we had two national champs on the team, which is, is that hard the to clash, do. the clash, the Minnesota the clash. clash. Yes. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, we did not go because of money situation. You know, yeah. we didn't prepare ourselves to raise the money. We asked a little later. So hopefully the, the team we have right now yeah. uh, are all ninth and 10th graders. They're outstanding kids that wrestle. Most of them wrestle all year round. Right. So right. in the future, it looks very bright. That's the type of team we will take there. Hopefully. What what would uh you know I mean we have a couple of your athletes coming up but tell tell us about what are your what are your thoughts on you know this season right you know we talked a little bit off air right in Suffolk County I think you get we got uh, six dual meets and uh, a, a couple of uh, dual meets uh you know in the, over the weekend what are your yeah. thoughts on this season you know you know what happened in the beginning of the uh, season they didn't have a decision on what they were going to do with this season so uh, I told a couple of my kids one kid moved to Florida. Uh, the Rogers brother, he got permission from section eight because those foot, remember the football players yes. the report that. Yes, yes. Georgia? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes. So we did that with uh, Benny's down there right now. And he's, uh, he's wrestling. What high schools do you know? Of him? I'm curious. I, it's, it's some kind of Academy outside Orlando. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm going to check into it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. He, he's, he's doing pretty well. He, I bet he is. I bet he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's doing pretty well. We, you, you know what? You, you have to search out and we didn't, you know, when the season started, uh, I was gung ho. Bam, we got hit with the COVID. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. and we lost like four kid, five kids right away. And was the, was you had to have ten days of practice. We lost them like the third day. Right. And, and it was only one kid that have it, but he was wrestling with all the other kids. Yeah. So we we were stuck quarantining those boys for ten days. We're just we have our last match on on uh, Saturday, and we're just getting some of the kids back. We, we, I've never done this in my life before. Forfeited eight weight classes. So I don't think I've ever seen you forfeit in more than one or two. No, ever. But yeah, you know ever. what? You yeah. can't just take, and the teams we're wrestling are very good. The massive peak was yeah. the McGoffers, yeah. yeah. you know, uh, those, those schools have great programs. And so sure. I wouldn't throw a JV kid in there just to have a kid in there. So, you know what? We, we ate it. And so I'm going to ask there. you one tough question. You know, I love you and I look up to you, but I ask you one tough question. What what tell it? What do you think? To, is there a difference and between Suffolk County and Nassau County wrestling? What do, what do you think is the, the biggest difference? Uh, and again, I know it's a little bit of a tough question. So, uh, for years back in the uh, when, when Suffolk was at its its peak, they God did they rule, and there was no Nassau schools that went out there except for Long Beach. We used to right. go out wrestle the yeah. great Jack Mahoney's team. He yep. had teams. He would show up to a tournament with. Uh, Two busloads of kids. One was the varsity. What was the JV? You probably couldn't he, tell which one, though. They were no, both tough. No, yeah. they were every kid on the team knew wrestling, you know. Yeah. And yeah. that's a credit to their program they had there with Jack, you know. So uh, uh, we went out there all the time, and they just had it, you know. They, they the, the kids from Suffolk County, the Marianos, the Jansons, I mean, you, you know. Yeah, and even to today, they're still. What would do you know that we won NASA? We won the state tournament. I do. For the I, I, first I do. time, the last time we won NASA, won the state tournament was in 1987, and I had. That's when we had Scotty Graham and those Richie Santana. Wow, yeah, that's and, wow, Richie Santana. Yeah, yeah. So that, you know yeah. that was the that was the era, and uh, from 87 
So probably, you know, they lost one or two times, maybe to upstate section five or two, but Suffolk dominated. And uh, it's because of the clubs out there. They got a lot of clubs compared to Nassau. I think after a while, Nassau kind of realized, and, you know, we started forming more clubs and, and yeah. it's the off season wrestling. I mean, all uh, their freestyle team was better than their, uh, their folk style team. Yeah. Out yeah. I, I look, I, I, I'm a tougher guy, but I, I, I think it's back and forth now. I think it's parody. You yeah. Know, I, well, you know, it's because of the off season wrestling, you know, now yeah. Nassau is doing it more. So yeah. It, it yeah. I mean, uh, my, my point is I think it's, it's going to be even look a couple more things I want to bring in your athletes, but the other thing, there's two things. One is Matt Diano's telling me that your, your guy is at lakes Academy in Florida, right? So you were right. I, it's an Academy. Yes. And so thank you, Maddie. And the other thing I want to tell that people that I want to give you credit for is you send pe- so many kids to colleges, not just co- high end colleges, you know, you know, we have uh, Brown, Cornell, right? I mean, you know, uh, uh, the, the yeah. academies, right? So you've done Harvard. A tre- a tre- Harvard. Harvard. You've done a tremendous job sending kids not only to to call any kid. Well, look, I'm not going to downplay any kid going to college or wrestling. That's that. But my point is, elite, elite colleges, right? So you, to me, you've set the bar so high, Coach. I re- I really mean that. What you've done for Long Island wrestling, it's it's well, amazing. Thank you. Anytime I I've been that. around you, I try to talk to you and 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 pick your brain. You want the best of high school wrestling? Long Island Wrestling Association's website brings you the best. Wrestling is one of the toughest blue collar sports. The sport has tens of thousands of followers, and at the center of it all is the Long Island Wrestling Association, measuring the gravity of the sport. In 2002, National Hall of Fame wrestling inductee Steve Meehan created the number one source for wrestling news in New York State. With contributors like Long Island Sports Hall of Fame inductee and historian Andy Slauson, the site is the most comprehensive wrestling website in the country for high school wrestling news. With in-depth analysis, entertaining facts, forums, and trending topics, this site has a treasure trove of historic high school wrestling information with records dating back to the 1930s. There is no better source for high school wrestling coverage. Long Island Wrestling Association, keeping the wrestling world up to speed. Uh, so, Bill, is he's brought into your stud athletes. Coach, can you introduce him for us? This is uh, Joe Clem and Anthony Clem. Uh, they're, uh, they've been wrestling quite a while. They have quite a resume for two young young guys. And it's all because of mom and dad. They, there's a parents there that are really involved in the sport. And, uh, in fact, I think we could hire Mrs. Clem as one of our coaches. <laughs> you always seem to have great parents, right? From, yeah, from yeah, I mean, so many, Erlo and, and Kavanaugh, and, I, and yeah. I, I can probably miss in so many names, and Corbett and, and the Rodney. Yeah. You have great, great yeah. parents, you know? So, Joseph and, and Anthony, right? I've known about you guys for a while. You guys are studs. Well, you guys are what, ninth? What grade are you guys in? Ninth grade? Am I ninth right? Grade, ninth grade. All right, I made up. All right, so we're going to go Joseph first, right? Just to make it easier because you're left to right. Yeah. So, first off, I hope you guys know that you are um, you wrestle for a legend, right? That you wrestle for literally one of the best coaches in the country, right? And there'd be so many people that would have uh, loved to wrestle for you, me included, right? For to coach. I hope you guys know that, right? So, so Joe, tell first of all, what is it like having wrestling? You know, having a brother. You guys are too high level. I'm assuming you guys push each other. You're wrestling for uh, on, on Thanksgiving dinner. You're wrestling for you know presents. Tell, what's that like? I mean, do you guys you guys beating the heck out of each other? You guys have good drill partners. What's that we, like? We definitely wrestle a lot because we're always together. So like even in the house we wrestle sometimes. I mean, it's definitely a lot nicer to always have a partner. I think. So what, Anthony? Same same question for you, right? Do you guys how how often do you guys uh, I'm. You know, knowing you guys, you probably have a, a some kind of mat or something in in in, in your basement or your, or your house, right? Do you guys train together? Yeah, we live together, and like we always do, we always wrestle together, even with not on mats, just wrestling. It really helps having a twin brother around the same size. It's great, right? And you got and and look, and you do have coaches, right? Uh, your parents are phenomenal. I mean, everyone knows on Long Island, you know, the support you guys have, it's it's amazing. So, so Joe, back to you. So, what what is your look? We have a short season, I think, in Nassau, as Coach said, we have eight matches. How many? What's your goal for this season, right? I know you guys wrestle all year round. I've seen you everywhere. Any, it's like any any off season tournament I've ever been to, you guys are there. You guys are there early. What's your goal for this year in terms of the high school season? Uh, win as many matches. And uh, 
definitely try getting better though, because. But we have a good schedule because they put the top ten teams together, so that definitely helped. That we got a good competition. But I'm gonna try getting better. For this coach. So is that right? I know that you guys do a, 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 a we the way Suff- Suffolk and Nassau in terms of the league championship. You guys do more by division, right? So you guys. Yeah. Well, what jumbled they, did, the, they yeah. ability grouping they did with this, and they put that they figured that. They had them rank the top 10 teams in the county, and that was one league. And then they went to League Two. League. They actually ranked, excuse me, the top probably 48, I think there are in the county. And, okay. And then they put them together in four separate leagues. That's it. That's great in terms of coming. So, Anthony, same question to you. What, what, what's your goal besides beating the heck out of your brother? What, what's, <laughs> what's your goal for this year? Uh, this year, I'm really just focusing on getting better. These matches, like, I just want to get better in these matches. We do have the uh, unofficial counties, which I am looking forward to win. So what what is it? Look, I, I, you, I, look, I know that you guys are <clears throat> wrestle out in the off season with, with Coach Franco, with, with Coach Accardino and, and others. I've seen you other places as well. Uh, obviously, you want to give those guys a shout out. What is it like? I'm going to make Coach Gillespie blush a little bit. I'll go back to you, Anthony. What's it like wrestling for a legend and, and, and Coach Gillespie? What's a practice like? You know, how... Um, do you, you know, walk us through a practice. What's it like, Anthony? Uh, we start off with Coach Jones. He warms us up normally. And uh, trying to get the secret ingredients, Coach. I'm trying to get your secrets here. <laughs> and, we, you, uh, you know what, mate? Go ahead, Joe. Forget it. I shouldn't interfere. Go ahead. Who's that? And, Anthony. Uh, Anthony. Yeah, it's Anthony. Go ahead, Gillespie, Anthony. Gillespie uh, tells Bloom what to go over. Gillespie shows a couple of good stuff. Bloom shows some good stuff. And we drill hard. And then we go live. Now, Joe, what's 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 the what's the um, what's the secret ingredient, Wanto? Why do you guys win, 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 win? All you guys do is win. What's the secret ingredient over there? Uh, definitely, all push each other in practice, and we all train hard. So that's definitely one of the reasons. So, so, Coach, what, what do you what do you, I mean? I think the sky's the limit for for these for these guys. Have you ever had? I mean, ever is a long time, but certainly have twins at this magnitude. That's pretty special, right? You know, I've had a lot of brothers, you know, through the years, you know. And we have two brothers. We had uh, Benny, his brother, won That's the right. state title last year. So right. the, uh, uh, the, the the toughness is there, you know. And and these guys are just, they got a great work ethic. And, and to, to find the competition that uh, they wrestle uh, makes them much, much better, you know. And... You know what? It's a very important too. You learn how to lose because you got to learn how to lose, and you got to make that into winning. And that's what they do. I've seen them lose a couple of times, no effect on them. They come right back, and there they are. They win again. So uh, that's what they have learned at a young age, and that's because of all the wrestling they do. So what? What's next? So so Joe, what what's next? On uh, I'm assuming that both both of you boys are gonna. We had Coach Papalizio on, right? Which I know uh, Coach Glasper, you know him very well. Yeah, Pat's right? a great guy. Yep. Right. So you you, I, are you I'm assuming that both of you guys are gonna participate in the we'll call it the unofficial New York State tournament. What's your, first of all, Coach? What's your position on that tournament, real quick? Uh, it, you know what? We don't have anything. Uh. Frank Papablizio. Yeah, Frank. It, 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 yeah. Is, it, he's just a – thank God we have him in New York because he brings some really high-level tournaments here, both college and uh, high school. And even the, the younger kids with uh, – what is it called up there? The journeyman. The journeyman, yep. Journeyman, yep. yep. And, and uh, Frankie is a big, big uh, part of uh, making all these kids tough. You know, he coaches at Chen. Of course, he has a couple of really high-level yeah, kids there. tough to beat. Yep, yep. You know, so uh, – it, it, it's all good. It, it's all good, you know. And I'm, uh, Mike. You mind if I? You know what? I just want to say something. Of too. course, winning is a uh, uh, is a great deal, but you have to have great coaching staff. Please, you please, know? coach. And, yep. uh, the ki- the guys that I have, you know, Ray Hanley Senior is just being inducted into the uh, National Hall of Fame. I didn't know that. Obviously, you know, yes, obviously you know is. about him. That's a fantastic. He's the mayor. He's the mayor of the community. The boys will tell you that, right, boys? He is. Yeah. He is just great. And you got Ray Hadley Jr. You got Todd Bloom, whose father Mike Bloom was coach at Lawrence many years ago. Wow. Okay. So, and, and and he's a he's an alumni, right? You coach Bloom, right? Yes. You, is that heavyweight? I'm, I think he, they right. all the all these guys except for uh, 
another guy, Reggie Jones Jr. Yeah, we all know, know Reggie. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's a, a Bellboy Kennedy guy. Yep. But uh, you know, he's another National Hall of Fame guy. So yep, yep. And Brian Hooker and his brother were both county champs, if you remember the hookers. I do, I do, I do. I you mean, know? so you so, have, your staff is amazing, right? It's you, great, great. That, that's what makes the program. When you have good people like we have here, it, and, and our athletic director is great. She gives us great support, Jen Keen, you know, so Jen it's Keen. good. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, obviously, I was, I, I'm glad you brought that up, right? Because you guys have incredible fundraising, right? Second to yeah. none. You have, obviously, you have an athletic department that lets you travel, you, your room, is open. I, you know, I'll, I'll let you answer that, but a lot. I mean, I feel like it's open pretty much all year round, right? Yes. Um, so you, I, you, you know, know. You, you have. We, we had a coach, Coach Poway, Coach Sean Myers from Poway, California. I yeah. would honestly say that I might get in trouble here in Suffolk, but you guys are the closest to Poway, California. You know that type of machine, right? It's a, it's a machine, yeah. and you, you have a machine in Wanto. So, Anthony and Joe, I hope you. I know you are because I've met you guys before. And I've met your parents. I know that you guys are grateful. But you, 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 when you walk in that room, you're around greatness. And Coach Gillespie, I, I mean this. Yeah, I appreciate everything that you've done, obviously, at Long Beach and for Wanto, but for Long Island and New York State Wrestling. I mean that sincerely. And Joseph and Anthony, we'll be following you. We appreciate your time. And thanks for joining us on 2 on 1. Thanks. Thank you very much, Michael, for having me. It was great. Thanks, boys, for coming on. Thank thanks. you, boys. <laughs>